Hello friends. We talked a lot about the tiger on this channel. I have never hidden from you that I especially admire this animal and that I consider it the most efficient and powerful terrestrial carnivore. As I have said in other episodes, I believe that there is enough evidence that the tiger sometimes manages to successfully hunt bears, crocodiles, rhinos and even healthy adult elephants. Of course, these are exceptional cases and not all tigers are capable of such performance, but there is still enough evidence that such cases exist. Because there are still a lot of people who accused me of lying when I made such statements, I gathered some accounts that I considered conclusive to support my point of view. In this episode we will talk about the Bengal tiger and the Indian rhino, but there will be other episodes in which we will also talk about other impressive preys that the tiger can kill on its own. So here's the evidences. A day after the half-eaten carcass of a 34-year-old female rhinoceros named Pavitri was recovered from the rhino rehabilitation area in Dudwa Tiger Reserve at Dudwa National Park in Lakimpur Kheri district of Uttar Pradesh following her killing by a big cat, Wildlife officials are perplexed at the tigers developing a liking for the one-horned animal despite the presence of ample prey base in the forest. The late Monday night killing is the third instance of a rhino being killed by the roaming big cats in the last 14 months since the killing of a 35-year-old male rhino in November 2011 followed by that of a young adult in December 2011. A female rhino named Himrani was attacked and injured by a tiger on December 1, 2011 but managed to survive due to the efforts of the park authorities. In December last year another female rhino was mauled by a tiger in the rehabilitation area, but survived the deadly attack. While the exact causes of the frequent attacks by the feline are yet to be ascertained, Deputy Director of Dudwa Tiger Reserve Ganesh Bhatt said that it is not an unnatural phenomena as similar attacks have taken place in Kaziranga National Park in Assam. Calves and sub-adults and those rhinos who are weak are generally attacked by tigers, as had been the case with the adult female rhinoceros, Himrani, who too was weak, Mr. Bhatt told the Hindu from DTR. However, the Dudwa official clarified that the latest casualty, Pavitri was not weak-bodied. This article is very relevant primarily because it reports on several cases in which adult rhinos, both male and female, were killed by tigers, but also because it specifies very clearly that the last female killed, aged 34 years, had no health problems and was in full force. For those who want to read the full article, I put the link in the description of the video. But such attacks are taking place elsewhere, not just in Dudwa National Park. Here is another excerpt from a news item published in November 2017 in another Indian daily, the Indian Express. It states that, according to official statistics, Kaziranga National Park had lost as many as 472 rhinos due to tiger predation between 1982 and 2014, with the highest such casualties 26 rhino deaths, reported in 2004. There are many other such accounts of tigers that have managed to kill healthy adult Indian rhinos on their own. There is no point in making a video of a few hours in which to quote such cases, I consider for any reasonable person the evidence is sufficient. But I would like to quote some more statements published on www.bigcatrescue.org, because here are some really interesting details. Royal Bengal tigers, which usually prey on baby rhinos, have begun killing adult ones in Kaziranga National Park since last fortnight. The worrying part is that tigers have started killing full-grown rhinos. Earlier it was only the calves the tigers used to attack but now the full-grown rhinos are being targeted, said Bankam Sharma, the divisional forest official of the park. It must have taken several hours for the tigers to nail the rhino. The entire area looked like a war zone with crushed grass and plants. The rhino had probably given up when it got stuck in the mud in a nearby water body, the forest official said. The divisional forest official said male rhinos usually stay alone and tigers are finding it easier to prey on them than buffaloes, which stay in large groups. The link to the article one just quoted is in the description, as usual. So, in addition to explaining why tigers develop such unusual behavior, here we are told that the fight most likely lasted a few hours. And this is very interesting, considering that there are many who are still trying to make us believe that the tiger is an animal that gets tired very quickly and easily surrenders in front of a certain opponent, whose name we do not specify, because this video is just about the tiger. Therefore, this coward animal not only dares to successfully attack one of the most dangerous herbivores on earth, which is four to five times bigger than him, 
but chooses to fight for a few hours with it in the conditions in which he would be able to abandon the fight at any time in search of an easier prey. In these circumstances, I believe that only a man who is naive or malicious can say that the tiger is a coward animal who lacks stamina. I can only admire and respect such an animal. Tigers depend on a large ungulate prey base and are capable of killing prey as large as adult Asian rhinos and elephants. This is a quote from the Biology and Conservation of Wild Felids, published in 2010 at Oxford University Press. Remember that this is a scientific material, not an article in a dubious tabloid. The source is also indicated, namely the book, Wild Cats of the World, by Mel Sunquist and Fiona Sunquist, published by the University of Chicago Press in 2002. I did not quote you directly from this because I did not find it available free online and many of you could not have verified the veracity of this statement. But the first book mentioned, the one to which the cover on the right of the image belongs, is available for free and you can access it from the short link written in blue. I am aware that all those who have set themselves the ultimate goal of their lives to challenge all the amazing things that these striped cats are capable of, will bring all sorts of counter-arguments. But I tell them from now on that I've already heard them all. Many will say that there are no such filmed attacks and so they do not actually exist. I will answer them here, so that I don't have to do it in the comments. The first recording cameras were invented after 1900, not to mention the camcorders that were invented much later, after 1980. Does this mean that all the major events that Earth and humanity went through before this date do not exist because we have no filmed evidence? 